Hello everyone. In this video, we'll study about one of the most important topic related to our environment, that is global warming and greenhouse effect. Our solar system has number of planets. Some planets are either too hot or too cold, but our Earth's surface has relatively mild and stable temperature. But the question arises: How temperature of the Earth is maintained? Earth is bombarded with radiation from sun in the form of visible light, ultraviolet rays and infrared rays. Our atmosphere has ozone layer which absorbs harmful UV rays and send rays to the earth surface. Earth absorbs some radiations and convert them to the IR radiation which passes out to the atmosphere and space. Now now let's understand in this way this is our sun which emit radiation in the form of visible uv and ir rays this ozone layer act as a protective layer between the sun and the earth by absorbing harmful radiations remaining radiations are sent to the earth surface which reemit them back to the atmosphere now come the role of greenhouse gases greenhouse gases present in the atmosphere include methane nitrous oxide water vapor carbon dioxide and so on these gases absorb some ir rays emitted by the earth surface and help in keeping the earth warm and maintain a stable temperature if these gases were not there then the temperature of the earth would have been extremely cold and one could not survive this effect is called greenhouse effect because a greenhouse works in much the same way Now you see this is a greenhouse. During winters plants are kept in greenhouse or a place covered with glass. When heat and light enters the glass does not allow the heat to go back. The heat is retained and keep the plants warm. Similarly when heat and light from the sun enter our atmosphere some gases like CO2, methane etc do not allow the heat to reflect back to the space. Therefore these gases are called greenhouse gases. So what is the problem then? Due to human activities these greenhouse gases are increasing at an alarming rate. So there is a gradual increase in the earth's atmosphere to the greenhouse effect. This is called global warming. Now we'll study about the effects of global warming. First is melting of glaciers and climate change. Due to global warming, glaciers are melting and sea level will rise which will lead to floods and endanger human life. More global warming lead to more evaporation and more rain and animals and plants cannot adapt to these increased rainfall. Next effect is rise in droughts. With increase in temperature, presence of droughts has increased and the whole forest has begin to disappear. Next is rise in floods. Due to global warming, there is an increase in floods and this disturb the balance of our ecosystem. The other effects of global warming include rise of sea levels, increase in hurricane frequency, effect on agriculture, diseases and health risk, frequent wildfires, disruption to food chain, economic collapse and so on. So friends there is an urgent need to stop this global warming to save our mother earth so to prevent it we need to reduce the emission of greenhouse gases government must take some steps towards it but as an individual we can contribute it contribute towards it by the following first is reduce reuse and recycle we can reuse newspaper glass aluminum cans and so on Next is use less heat and air conditioning. We should re we should reduce using or we should use less our ACs and so on as much as possible. Next, change a light bulb. We should replace a regular light bulb with LED bulbs. Next, drive less, drive smart. We should use bicycle or just walk wherever possible. instead of just taking our cars everywhere around so thus these small steps contribute a lot as we know boon boon se hi sagar banta hai
थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग द वीडियो